All right. Here is a guide to maintenance, you polished bastards. Here I'm going to talk about the equipment and the ways to repair it. Maintenance skill determines how badly damaged gear you can repair. At the beginning your maintenance is obviously low and you cannot even touch something that's got 70 durability or 60 or even below that. To be able to repair such equipment with kits, you're gonna have to improve your maintenance skill. In this game equipment is divided into four categories. Weapons, armor, light apparel and footwear. Blacksmith can repair both weapons and armor. Weaponsmith can repair only weapons, Armorsmith can, can repair only armor, Tailor can repair only light apparel, and Cobbler can repair only footwear. These people should be visited when your skill is low and when the durability of that particular item is low. You simply cannot repair it until you get high maintenance skill. To repair any kind of damaged equipment, if you have skill enough, you need kits. You can buy kits from any of the four types of smiths that I've told you. Every kit is used to repair specific type of equipment. For example, tailor kit is used to repair light apparel, cobbler's kit, footwear and so on. By using these kits, you're going to improve your maintenance skill. When choosing a kit to repair equipment, you'll see its durability. You can use the kit until durability goes to zero, then you lose the kit. The durability basically shows you how many uses you've got left. The more maintenance skill you got, the less durability will be lost when using these armor kits. Check out the perks from the maintenance tree and you'll see there are some really nice boosts you can get when repairing equipment by yourself. So doing maintenance by yourself is actually worthwhile. Grindstone is used to sharpen your swords. It is a great way to level up your maintenance skill because you can use grindstone from the beginning of the game. Maintenance skill does not affect grindstone usage. Now I'll show you what not to do. When you see smokes coming out, that means you're damaging the blade. So this is the worst thing you can do for your sword right now that I'm doing. Now look at the durability, it went from 100 to 27 in a matter of seconds. Horrible, right? Don't panic, there is a solution. To do grindstone properly, you just have to start the grindstone, I mean start pedaling the wheel and pedal it at a steady pace, but it needs to be fast. Then what you do is apply slight pressure until you see sparks. Sparks are good, smoke is bad. More sparks you have, the better your sharpening will be. When you reach proper speed with the wheel, start applying pressure. Pressure is applied by using the scroll on mouse. Only apply slight pressure at the beginning to see the sparks. And then adjust the angle. When you find that sweet spot, when the sparks start flying, then move the sword across the grindstone, so that you sharpen every part of it. The thing is that when you move the sword across the grindstone, it will change its angle slightly, so you need to readjust the angle constantly, to keep the sparks going. And that's the whole bloody procedure. It's not that complicated, as soon as you do it a couple of times, you'll figure it out. To level up your maintenance skill, simply intentionally dull the blade, and then do the sharpening process correctly and you're gonna level up your maintenance skill fast. That would be all. 
I hope this video helps you and see you all soon.